In this video, we will review the feature cut and paste into other application from Automation Studio. So I have created a Word document where I have listed two questions. First one is which one of the symbols is a four-way two-position valve. So I'm going to use Automation Studio to insert the drawing of the different type of valve. So let's go back to Automation Studio. I can take this valve, copy and paste, and from here I can create different type of valve. I could have went to hydraulic section, directional valve, and select the valve that I want. But I can do it also directly from the valve builder. So by double clicking on the valve, I'm in the technical specification tab where I can actually click on the command, delete this command, and delete the other one. When I apply, if I close this window, now I have the valve that I want to put in my Word document. But I want to add some more to confuse the students, so I can simply cut and paste, so copy and paste. I'm going to double click on it, and now I'm going to create a two port, two position valve. Double click here to actually put, let me close here, and one like that at the bottom, apply. Here's my other valve. I'm going to copy this one and paste it. And this one here, I'm going to create a three two-way valve. So go to three port, two position, double click here. So I'm going to choose this spool. And for the other one, I'm going to select this spool here. Then I can apply. Here's my third choice. So let's put another one here at the bottom. So I'm going to copy this one, paste it. And I'm going to create here a five two-way valve. So five port, two position. So I'm going to click twice here to choose the spool of my choice. So I'm going to take this spool, which is a closed position on the left, and then this configuration. For the other one, I'm going to take the normally close to the right. So I'm going to take this configuration here. Apply and close. Now I have the four choices I want to give my students. So all I need to do is right click on it, copy, and directly from here do a paste. So let's put this as B, copy, paste. This one is going to be C, paste. And same thing with the last one, copy and paste. And as you can see, the quality is really good as well. If you enlarge the image, you'll see that the quality remains the same. Now let's go to my second question where, on the circuit shown below, is the high pressure path correctly identified? Let's go back to Automation Studio. I'm going to erase these valves. Now what I can do is, this is the schematic I want to put in my second question. But I need to highlight some line for pressures, high pressure and low pressure. So I can select the line like this, multiple selection. I'm going to go into the edit mode, put the line thicker and put a collar on the line. I'm going to pick these two, and I'm going to put the same thickness with the blue for low pressure. So this would be the correct answer, but I want to put a fault in it, so I'm going to click on this line and put it red, and this one here blue. Then I'm going to select my diagram, right click on it, copy, Go back to Word and paste my circuit. So as you can see, all the colors that you change in Automation Studio will be also cut and paste into the other application. So this is a feature which really helps you to create exercises for your students or simply to enhance the drawing of your publication. Thank you for your time, and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.